What is up, everybody? Welcome back to the Hum Baby Baseball Channel. This is Eric with a quick team preview on the Colorado Rockies. This is one of the teams in the National League West. The Giants will have to worry about, or will we have to worry about them? Maybe they're not a team to worry about. That's the question, because the Rockies obviously were the one team that finished even lower than the Giants last year, 59 and 103, the worst record in their franchise history. And it saved the Giants from an unfortunate last place finish after that second half meltdown. But they were the only team in the National League to lose 100 games. It was the third worst record in all of baseball. Royals and A's did even worse. But did they do anything to improve in 2024 so that this won't happen again? And honestly, they didn't do too much. Not to move the needle enough to think that all of a sudden the Rockies are going to be competitive in 2024. But... One of the biggest problems they had was injuries. And if they can be more healthy this year, some of these big stars coming back, like Brendan Rodgers, who only played in 46 games, and of course, Chris Bryant, who has been hurt ever since they signed him. If those two guys can stay healthy, it could help things out quite a bit, uh, along with some problems with their pitching staff. They had injuries. Herman Marquez, who's still recovering from Tommy John. Ryan Feltner got hit with a line drive. Lots of problems last year. They made a few moves. We'll look at it. They improved the rotation a little. Cal Quantrill, uh, Dakota Hudson, a couple of backup guys. Jacob Stalling, he'll be uh, sharing catching duties with Elias Diaz. Brought back Sam Hilliard. Sam Hilliard went to Atlanta for a year, but here's the lineup right here. So Charlie Blackman, big name, been around a long time. Rockies legend, but he hasn't been an all-star since 2019. He can still get on base. He hit just eight home runs last year. He used to hit 29 every year plus, so you can't really count on that anymore. Chris Bryant, I talked about, hasn't been healthy. He needs to stay healthy. He needs a big bounce back here, and he needs to crush 30 home runs for this team, and that'll be very important for the Rockies to just dream of being competitive. But then you have Nolan Jones. Now, as I'm looking at this lineup, it's not half bad. Nolan Jones is the real deal. I really like this guy, and I think with a full year in the big leagues, he could hit 29, 30 plus home runs. He hit over 30 last year between the minors and the big leagues. Obviously, Brendan Rodgers. Then you got good solid guys like Ryan McMahon uh, with good power. Um, Elias Diaz, Sean Bouchard, pretty solid. E Ezekiel Tovar. Brendan Doyle is one of the best defenders in the game. He won a gold glove. He is incredible out there, but he hit like 200 last year. So he's going to have to hit better. Uh, he had a 250 on base, 203 batting average. So other than that, I mean, the lineup is there. That's really not the problem with this team. This has been the same way for years. Ever since I've been doing these previews, it feels like I look at the Rockies lineup. I'm like, why are these guys so bad? Oh, yeah, they're pitching. Um, by the way, decent bench, nothing special here. Um, Montero, Trejo, Hilliard, and Stallings listed on the bench. And, of course, some good prospects waiting in the wings. But... Nothing too major. The, the real problem that I'm worried about with this Rockies that I would be worried about if I was a Rockies fan is the pitching. Kyle Freeland is still listed as the ace. Uh, he had an ERA over five, and you can't blame Coors Field. I looked at his splits. He was two and nine with a 5.13 ERA on the road and four and five with a 4.94 at home. So he was better at home, but he gave up 29 home runs last year, and this is their ace. Uh, his fastball was just not cutting it last year. It was down around 88. Guys were crushing it. He looks better in spring training. He's got some more life on that fastball. And hopefully that lasts for, throughout the season for him. But he's going to have to be much, much better this year. Uh, Cal Contrill, solid guy. More of a finesse guy. Not a big strikeout guy. And I don't know if that's going to bode well for Coors Field. Austin Gomber. He's a guy that they traded for Nolan Arenado. Gomber's this big prospect. He's just very ineffective um, and inconsistent, I should say. Sometimes he is ineffective. Sometimes he looks really good. But he's just very, you just don't know what you're going to get from him. Uh, he'll go out there and last not even a full inning. And right now he's getting lit up in spring training. So he's got good stuff. He's got potential, but hasn't put it together yet. Then there's Ryan Feltner. Like I said, he's back after uh, an injury last year. Looking pretty good. He, He'll have to have a nice year. Dakota Hudson, uh, fifth option right now. Dakota Hudson was a pretty big name uh, not too long ago, but ever since about 2020, I think he had Tommy John and has just been struggling to get back since then. But an experienced guy, and uh, 
definitely someone you want there with him. And uh, Peter Lambert also uh, could uh, give them some innings as well. But, yeah, I mean, you have Kyle Freeland as your ace. All due respect, I like Kyle Freeland. I like Kyle Freeland since since college with the uh, uh, who's with the uh, Evansville, right? Evansville Purple Aces. I always like Kyle Freeland, but um, doesn't seem like an ace. Like the Cardinals knew they had major problems with their pitching staff. They addressed it in the offseason. The Rockies didn't. And, you know, I feel bad for their fans. They probably want them to just sell the team, get a new owner, get a new front office. But, um, you know, for some reason, they're just not doing what it takes to to try at least and, and, and be competitive and, and try to make the playoffs. And any one of these five guys can be in a major league rotation. But they're all... Fifth guys, fourth, fifth guys. You don't have any true aces, true frontliners, uh, from what I can see. And then in the bullpen, um, Justin Lawrence is good. He's got a, a good, uh, good sweeper, uh, good strikeout stuff. He might be the um, closer opening day. Daniel Bard, he's getting up in age. He's about 39. He had that great comeback story after seven years of retirement. He comes back. He was awesome last year. Not as great. And I just don't think you count on Daniel Bard. Um, you hope, but you can't really count on it. So this bullpen, Justin Lawrence, Tyler Kinley's pretty good. After that, okay, Ty Block. I know about Ty Block from his time with the Giants. He's okay. We'll see. I mean, I, I just don't see a whole lot here that's going to hold the game, that hold, hold leads in place and give the Rockies a chance to win a bunch of games. I just, you know, it's okay. Um, picked up a Rule 5 guy here, Anthony Molina. He was with the Rays. Good stuff, but nothing like overwhelming. Nothing to make me think he's going to stick. But And he was a starter over there, so he might be able to start some games. But we'll see. He's only 22 years old. That doesn't seem like the guy right there who's going to come in and, and, and save this team. So the pitching is the problem with the Rockies. I mean, that's, that's that simple. They just don't have enough. Don't have enough. They don't have even close to uh, what even the Giants have. And you know, people saying how bad the Giants are. You know, my subscribers are like, oh, this team is embarrassing. We got Logan Webb. We got Kyle Harrison. We got uh, guys coming uh, soon back, like Cobb, like Robbie Ray. Uh, we got guys in the bullpen like Doval. I don't see that with the Rockies. I just don't see it. Especially when you're playing at Coors Field, you need strikeout guys. Guys will keep the ball out of play at Coors Field. But let me know what you guys think right now. Uh, I, I can't even say I think they'll be a lot better. I think they'll be slightly better. Maybe they won't win. Maybe they won't lose 100 games, but I still see them probably finishing last right now in the West. And if not, oh God, please don't be the Giants to finish last, but we'll see. You guys have a great one. Let me know what you think. We'll talk to you in the next one.